Once again, it has been long. You are welcome to this edition. And it has been long I made video. I just say, let me throw more light so that as a technician or you want to turn this variable resistor in this century stabilizer for you to understand what you are turning. Because if you don't understand what you are turning, you will just be winding each of these variables, winding them out of range. But first of all, in one of my videos, I've already explained that this is the right way these things are being positioned. And I want to explain each of these four variables. One, two, three, four. For you to understand their function, how they operate. So, let me go by starting from the first one. The first one here, which is number one, you don't touch it that often. It's used to set the low and the high range. And each of them has the voltage range they operate on. Now, let me say the voltage is low. When you are low up to like uh, uh, from 100 to let me say like 160 volts. Take note of that voltage line from 100 to 160 volts now if you adjust this first this number one at that voltage line you will see that it only adjusts in two ways either you will bring the voltage low or we take the voltage to above 250 260 277 if you wind it to one side it will take the voltage down to like the normal voltage at which you are measuring at that point but if you wind it to the other way around it will adjust the voltage to a high voltage so when you notice that that is showing you a high voltage take it down to the low voltage you will hear the triggering sound of the relay and it will fall back to the low voltage when it falls back to the low voltage meaning you are at the right point now let me go to the second one the second one operates the voltage between that 160 and one 160 down to 200 or 210 that's where this one function if you wind it up i don't want to adjust this one much because i just finished setting it if you put your screwdriver and wind it up like normal clockwise meaning you are increasing your output voltage but if you wind it clockwise if you wind it anti-clockwise meaning you are decreasing your output voltage now this number two and number four is used to work on the voltage range between that 160 or 170 to 210 that's where if you want to get a stable output is this number two and number four you will be working on let's assume the voltage is at 260 this one you take it down meaning you are going anti clockwise it will fall the voltage down to 210 220 now if it falls down to 210 so it will fall down to 210 when it falls down to that 210 it is this one, number three, you used to bring it up a little to 220, 230. So this was number two and number four works hand in hand. So when you find out that the voltage is below 210 or is 210, you have to take it to normal 220 to 240. So it is this one that you adjust to stabilize it to 220 or 230. Mind you, the output voltage range must be between 220 to 240. 245 is still okay. 217 is still okay. So, like what I explained, this one is set between low and high. This one is set between that 160, 170 to 210. Now, when the voltage start getting above 210, 
as you are going you find out that your output voltage is increasing more than 240 so the next one you will be working on is this number three variable this one is used to adjust voltage more than 210 or 220 so let me take it again this one set between high and low between 110 to 160 and these two works on that 160 to 210 in varying it so that you have your stable output at 220 to 240 then when your voltage you are feeding in is going above 210 220 then you start observing your output voltage is going above 240 so it is this one you vary it anti-clockwise to take the voltage down you understand then it falls back to as at present now i'm feeding an input voltage here let me on it my meter here is showing 283 volts and this is my output 240 at first the thing is giving me more ranges so it is this center one i use in taking down 243 is still okay let me pick a lower voltage again this is 220 and what the output 236 it is when i start going down to from this 210 that i notice that I noticed something different and that is where this number two and three have to come in so let me explain everything from beginning to ending for you to understand it when your input voltage is between 100 to 160 and you are finding out that your output voltage is get, giving you more than 240 250 note that in this one you need to vary down so that the voltage will fall down back then when you have exceeded that 160 170 180 up to 210 you find out that you are not still having a stable output between this 220 to 240 is this one if the voltage is above 240 or is this one you vary down anti-clockwise so that it falls back but when it falls back too much to like 210 is this one you use you vary this one up a little bit clockwise so that it could stabilize it to 220 then when you have exceeded that of the 210 in your input voltage and your output is giving you more than 240 then finally is this one you will vary so this is the difference between variable one two three and four so once again if you are here to subscribe subscribe to the youtube channel i just decided to do this because it's a very long id video and more video comes your way Thanks for watching.